Hey, what's up, YouTube? So today is May 27th, 2015. I decided to try a new place here in Pennsylvania. I've never been here before. Uh, this neighborhood is called actually Bridgeport, I believe. So you know, uh, I'm I'm going to fish the title. The known title is Schuylkill River. That's the goal for today around Norristown but I'm not sure if I'm at the right place or not so you know I need to look I don't even know where I am not gonna lie to you so where the heck am I this seems to be a private property well I am currently lost I've never been here before the Skugel River is supposed to be around here There's supposed to be a park around here. That's all I know. So there's supposed to be a park called Schuylkill River Boat House Park. And it's supposed to be around here. But this, this looks like a private property, man. So yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm at the right place. Maybe I'm gonna go in and ask someone to see how. All right, so I'm still lost, kind of lost. I think I found the entrance to the park. Well, certainly that's the place I wanted to hit, but I think I just crossed a private property. Yeah, so this is the park. Okay, so apparently I went in from the wrong entrance. Okay, so yeah, we're all set to go. This is this is where I wanted to be, the Norristown Dam. So oh, I'm supposed to go in from Front Street, and this here, yeah, this here seems to be a private property. So okay, without even knowing, I mean, there were no signs. I just trespassed private property. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Goodness, okay, so I'm finally here. This is the park. Okay, well, you guys may or may not be, well, be aware of, I go everywhere by public transportation. So, you know, today I came here by public transportation as well. I took the Market Frankfurt line all the way to 69th Street Station. This is in Philadelphia. And then I took the Norristown, the Norristown High Speed Line, which also belongs to SEPTA. And there we go, now I'm here. Okay, I see some ground over there, I will fish over there. This is the fish ladder, the Norristown Dam fish ladder. See, it says no fishing within 100 feet of the entrance or exit, that's the law. So yeah, I'm not gonna fish within 100 feet of it. But yeah, this, this looks beautiful, so you know. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on how it goes. We gotta do some good fishing here today. Oh yeah, right here. No fishing without 100 feet. I'm gonna fish around this area here. Right, there we go. Cool, so now we are 100, about 100 feet from the fish ladder, all right? This is the portion of the, whoa, this is the portion of the river that we will fish. Perfect, this looks like an awesome spot. I definitely gonna wade the river today. So I gotta go to the middle where there's little grass thing is at. All right, time to set up the stuff. I'll keep you guys up. Fellas, I'm using the setup I always use. So if you've watched my videos before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So very quick setup, Cortland Endurance Spin, Knife Feet, Noodle Rod, 
with a Shimano Symmetry 4000 FL. This is really my trusted combo. 12 pounds Berkeley Vanish fluorocarbon line. All right, and I'm gonna start with my favorite inline spinner, the same one I always use. Thomas Fishing Dewars EP Series inline spinner, one eighth of an ounce, nickel gold collar. All right. Now, for this place that I'm fishing today, as I've mentioned before, I have never been here before. I've never fished this place before. This is my first time. I did read reports, online reports on this place, right? And according to locals, this place has been really bad for fishing. This is what the locals say. They say that back in 2003, about 12 years ago, this place used to be a prime fishery for smallmouth bass. But nowadays, because the water is too shallow, I mean, compared to before, the fishing has really been declined. So I, I don't know if this is true or not. As I've said, I've never fished here before. If I can land one fish here today, I think I'm gonna be happy enough. But you know, man, it is a dam. It looks promising. So yeah, definitely. I will be casting over and over. Try to catch some fish. All right, let me get my spinner here. I'm pretty excited about it. It's been a while since I fished somewhere, you know, like new to me. There we go. The Thomas Fishing Lures EP Series. Nico Gold. One eighth of an ounce. So yeah, this is how we're gonna row today. After I tie this baby, we're gonna give a couple casts and see what we catch. Beautiful place, folks. Beautiful weather. So we will see what happens. That's what they say. Perfect, perfect spot for a spinner though. Not gonna lie. But shallow, man, very shallow. Maybe that's why the locals really said, you know, this used to be a really good fishery before. Now, it's like no more smallies around here. Oh, I had a bite. Fish on. What is this? Oh, man. Okay, first fish of the day. A miniature smallmouth bass. Oh, 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 whoa, oh, oh, whoa, fella. All right, it's gone. <laughs> Miniature smallmouth bass, first fish of the day. All right, better than nothing, right? Oh boy. All right, we finally crossed here. Whoa, be careful not to fall. All right, I'm crossing all the way to this little island. Wouldn't call it an island, but <laughs> you guys got the idea. I'm crossing all the way here in the middle. All right, we just crossed over there. Wanna see if there's any fish around here. Hell yeah, this gives me a lot more of ground to cover. See that, folks? Nice rapid currents over here. A current break. Another current break over here. I can cast around the dam over there. So, you know, I'm in hopes that we will land somewhere, somewhere fish. Somewhere bass. Yes. All right, I'll keep in touch. I had another bite right over here. Small, but a bite is a bite. Try to see what, what type of fish this is. Oh, fish on. What? Are you serious? That was another miniature smallmouth bass. Man, 
What's going on here? All these mollies are like less than six inches. <laughs> All right. We will see if we can catch a bigger one. That was, dude, that was a big snag. Sean. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. Watch another smallmouth bass less than six inches. Unbelievable. That's the third one of the day. Maybe the locals were right, you know. Used to be a very decent fishery for smallies. And now all the fish here are like less than six inches. Anyways, they're gonna keep fishing and see if we can catch something a little bit bigger. Oh, guy, I want a bigger smallie. Come on. Bigger small mount. Bigger small mount bass. Rocks, rocks, and more rocks. Oh, that was a bite. Whoa, all right. What is this? Well, another miniature smallmouth bass, fourth one of the day, all of them below six inches. There you go, what are you gonna do? All right, I I'm gonna continue on the quest for the one pounder plus. Rock, 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 a lot of rocks. Shallow as it is, you know. Whoa, all right, fish on, fish on. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Another one. All right, this is the fifth fifth one of the day. All right. Oh boy. All right, another another one less than six inches. All less than six inches, actually. Okay, I don't know what to do with it now. I I really want to just you know. Okay. If they're all this small, then we're gonna be in trouble. All super small, all the size so far. Yeah, we need uh, we need the one pounder plus. All right, come on, fella. We need the one pounder plus. sample of crawfish after hours of digging finally found my live sample of crawfish oh man so yeah this I don't know why this mall is over here so small they have crawfish here they have plenty of clams what happened to the big ones? Anyways, I gotta go back to fishing soon.
Yeah, there we go. I think I finally got my page. Perfect. Nice. Finally got my bait here. Got an eel. Chop it up. 